What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power we'll Play with CJ. Tuna focus in on the Chicago Blackhawks. You know, looking at moving other forward and Brian Bickle and his four million dollar cap hit through 2017 as they look to, um, you know, kickstart again their salary cap purge. My thing with Bickle is. They shouldn't have given him that contract extension uh, two years ago. I know he's coming off a fantastic playoff for the Blackhawks, but you know he is what he is. I mean, career high in points, what thirty seven, in twenty three and forty eight games of lockout during season. If that's worth four million dollars, then you know again he had a great playoff run for them. It was an integral part of that second Stanley Cup in two thousand thirteen. But you know since then he hasn't you know produced a damn thing. He's overpaid, overrated, and uh, you know a guy that. There's been questions about his effort, um, and then, you know, he, he could be experiencing vertigo, is what I'm reading now. So it's like, oh, great, you know, who's going to want to trade for this contract? You know, Dale Talon drafted and developed them. Does he, I think Florida could be a fit. Florida's got the cap room, you know, they could use a veteran forward. Uh, if Chicago is willing to throw in a draft pick or, a, you know, a decent prospect, I mean, you know, maybe, eh. Trying to you know gouge it here, whether it's a Paliota type or whoever, um, that that could be you know enough incentive for Florida to eat the four million for these next two years. The thing is, the Blackhawks can't afford to um, you know hold on to any salary. You know they've got to dump off everything they can to ensure that they can you know have players for next season. You know, Bickle at four million a year, you know doesn't work in their favor. You know it's definitely a negative situation there so you know th there's going to be some pieces that got to move around the board um, in order for the Blackhawks to ice a competitive team next year and one of those would be you know getting Bickle out of there. I th People say you know that no one would trade for him. I think there's I'm not going to say there's a huge market for him but I can see a team rolling with dice on him. You know a team that needs to get to the cap floor whether it's like Florida who they're not a cap floor team but you, know, you get what I'm saying um, or you know maybe Phoenix and Arizona, um, you know, someone like that. Someone mentioned, uh, who was it, Calgary. Bull they traded a bullet last year, so anything's possible. But, you know, I again, you have to keep in mind, you know, the number of moving parts involved in this and, you know, how much, what is, uh, you know, Bickle's value as a player outside of his contract, which... You know, the contract kind of changes everything. Because, uh, again, I think he could be a, a effective third liner, but not at $4 million a year. Who's going to want that? So, you know, you'd, you'd have to get him cheap and get something uh, in return. So, you know, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. But it should definitely be uh, interesting next few weeks with Blackhawks. Anyway, that's like episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned more episodes for the final. I'll throw the offseason. Every time I talk about the Blackhawks, I'm saying the final. And beyond. Later, guys.